Police are investigating a series of robberies on mopeds over the last two months. Yeah, it's gotten bad, and as Michelle Ross shows us, police now have photos of the suspects. It's become a common sight. Motorized scooters illegally riding in bike lanes, many without license plates. Our cameras were rolling as the NYPD stopped a driver and confiscated his scooter. His offense is unlicensed operator and unregistered vehicle. But another crime police are tackling involving scooters, drive-by robberies. I've lived in this neighborhood 52 years and I've never seen anything like it. Suspects on scooters are being sought for snatching purses from women, including a 73-year-old on 68th Street and 2nd Avenue. Police are investigating 22 incidents for the month of October alone, just in Manhattan, often on the Upper East Side. Well, I'm 74 and I'm terrified. And my husband said to me, you can't, you can't wear a pocketbook anymore. He made me buy like a fanny pack. Deborah Newman wears a backpack, which makes it harder for robbers on wheels to grab and go. She has a different attitude. I feel safe here. And anyway, I have a cane. If somebody wants to come near me, I'll just go whack them over the head with my cane. In some cases, they're driving onto the sidewalk approaching them. There are at least two reported instances in Brooklyn of necklaces grabbed right off women's necks. Men were also victims. These suspects are accused of ripping $600 headphones right off the heads of three men in different parts of the city. Always be alert. Keep your headphones, I'd say one in, one out. Um, and keep your head on a swivel. Police say it's a difficult crime to pursue, but that more than 25,000 scooters have been removed from the streets. It's always inherently dangerous to pursue motorcycles or scooters. They drive the wrong way. They're evasive. They can drive between cars. So we have to pick and choose when we're going to chase them. And police are still searching for the suspects, but they are asking the public for help in identifying them. If you recognize anyone in those images, the NYPD wants to hear from you. Reporting on the Upper East Side, Michelle Ross, Fox 5 News.